Hello there, I am Jago with my Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we took on the Snow Point City Gym, all of it. We got some gym badge. And oh look, we're in front of the, we were in front of the Equity Lake front. Um, now in Lake Verity. Sam's, uh, Sam's making reference to Metal Gear Solid right now. That's cool. You're not getting away with the Steam Galactic? Oh, you finished already? Your Pokemon are bad, but you're laughably weak. You obviously thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion and dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's get back. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the Veilstone headquarters HQ. Uh, are you implying that you could take Sam there too? Because <laughs> that'd be really convenient in some ways. Nope, I guess not. Oh. Don't I know you? We met in Turner City. Listen, Team Galactus is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactus' way. Don't come whining about poor po Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and another travel trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do a thing. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi was suffering. I'm going to get tougher, and I'm not about. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. It's ha I have to become. I have to be stronger. Well said, Sam. Well said, Sam. Uh, we could surf on the water right now, but I'll save that for later. But yeah. Um. I want to do a couple places of rock climb actually. I'm thinking of like three right now, maybe four actually. Um, I want to start with just um, getting the TM for Ice Beam and battling a couple trainers along the way. So let me put our Pell on then, and we can uh, make our way back. Um, I think we put didn't put another Pell on, I think the one still lingers on from before. But we have to go back to where the front, the beginning of like two, Route 216, where it wasn't this snowy, where it was just very light and it was had that place where we could just rock climb. So this is the fastest I can go in the snow, you know? That all rhymed, haha. -ha. I just wanna get out of this, you know, heavy snow, cause it's annoying. Yeah, I already bought this ninja boy, okay. Cool. Um, if I can find my way out of this part of the route, that'd be great. Which I'm very close to, actually. Ah, snow! No, I want to go down. I want to go down. What the heck? Okay, I thought I, I, thought I lost control of my character there. So it was like, my, is my controller just acting up? Okay, this is this is so much snow, man. So much snow. I gotta put another pill on though because I'm gonna pull off. Maybe having um, Karen up front with all these ice type trainers, having ice type Pokemon at least, or ice type moves, maybe not be the smartest idea, but you know, Karen's level 36, I can always do the switch wood trick into someone else if I need to. Oh, look, he's a fighting type dude. Maybe he has some fighting type Pokemon and stuff to match his uh, trainer type. I can withstand this cold, This that means I can take any kind of attack. I was so afraid of that submission actually fainting Karen. So yeah, I'm gonna probably just switch up to, um, well, yeah, I'll switch to Jetta, because Inferno is level 40, it's my highest level Pokemon right now in my party. So, yeah, let's just switch to Jetta. I want to hear some skiers, look at him, he's just going back and forth and spinning around, that's pretty funny. Ha, I'm skating, I'm skiing right now, but okay, as we skier say, spur thing.
I wasn't expecting that skier to have a geodude or a gravelor, but the snowfer made sense. Um, let's go to, uh, Rose, I guess. Wait, I want to actually see if, um, Drago does good in battle. Although, it's a dragon ground type, so... That might not be the best, you know... We'll have to see, because, like... As I'm looking at Drago's moves again... Dang it, I didn't mean to switch that. He knows Earthquake, Dragon Rage, Sandstorm, and Slash. So I want I think it's time for him to actually make his battling debut. Where he actually battles and gets experience. All by himself, without having to use experience here. Well, oh, come on, just just make eye contact with me, dang it. Here, I'll meet you halfway. Yeah, that's halfway, I guess. Not really. Let's take on the skier. What's fun about winter? Number one, skiing. Number two, Pokemon. I, I did- it caught me off guard how that Snover was faster than Karen, my Murkrow. But, uh, I- <laughs> I should've just went to Rose and used Poison Jab from the start when that thing came up- or about to come out about Poke Wall, you know? But whatever, here's a Mental Herb. Uh, I think it has a weird description. It has, like, it can only be used once or something like that. I don't really know how it works, because I've never really used it that much. I don't think I've really ever used it as a health item for my Pokemon in any really playthrough. And in this health item Pokemon, it snaps the holder out of infatuation and can only be used once. I think it means that it can only be used once per battle, because infatuation means like so you got, you've, someone just, uh, their Pokemon is attracting your Pokemon and they fell in love. So, I guess that's, it could be only, probably be only used once per battle, that makes sense. Um, I don't think I'll run into any Pokemon that really have attract anymore to the game, if I'm thinking. So I'll probably just skip it on using it, you know. I'll just not use it. Here's another, um, skier. And, um, Drago did actually a really good job on his, mate, you know, his, um, battle debut with fainting that Rose Roselia, so that's cool. He's, uh, Drago is still up front, by the way. How do you expect to battle in this heavy snow? You know, if that Star Avia didn't get a critical hit on uh, Drago, Drago wouldn't have fainted from the hill, because the hail wouldn't have knocked it out after that turn, you know? But whatever, here's an HP up, cool. I'll, I'll deal with that later, I guess, when we get to the next part, we can use Rock Smash, because I just want to get out of the snow as fast as I can. Anyway, here's TM13 Ice Beam. So yeah. I'm going to teach that to, um, Swift. So let me do that right now, actually. Grab my TMs and HMs pocket. Here's Ice Beam. Yeah, um, yeah, Jetta can only learn it. And Beck, Beck can learn it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and to answer a question is, like, um, when, why, why not battle in the snow like this? Just, like, deal with it. Deal with it. Gosh. We trainers have to make some tough sacrifices. Okay, so Ice Fang is 65 uh, power and 95 accuracy. Ice Beam's 100% accuracy and 95 power. And it has 10, it has 5 PP less than Ice Fang, but I'm gonna give it Ice Fang, you know? It's did a job up until now, but um, now we're gonna try Ice Beam, and Ice Beam's gonna be cool. So now I wanna fly to the next place where I can actually use uh, Rock Smash, or not Rock Smash, Rock Climb. So if we go over here, where's Celestic Town? Turn a city. Celestic Town's right here, okay, cool. Find a Celestic Town. I'm gonna heal up real quick too, just for real quick. Okay, nice. We're on our way to Viridian City. Viridian City. 
That's such a great song. Oh, my Poe off. You are not 211, the other side of Mount Quinnet, basically. We can actually use Rock Smash and finally use Rock Climb here. So that's pretty good, if I don't say so myself. Going up here. Haha. <laughs> and here, we are going to get an awesome TM. Yes, TM29 Psychic. I've been waiting a while to finally get to be able to teach this TM to Bronze, who is in the PC right now, so we can't even teach it to Bronze yet. Okay, that's cool. So there's uh, two more spots I know where you can use Rock Climb. Uh, I'm gonna go to, uh, where is that one spot I was talking about? Um, well, two places I really want to go to Rock Climb. Um, one was New Pastoria City. So let's fight Pastoria City then. Yeah. Here, good thing we don't want to Pokemon there. <laughs> That's good. Here's another place we can use Rock Climb. Nice. I like the music here too, it's very calming. I'm gonna put a pill on. Oh, of course I'm gonna pose at the top of my bag. My item pocket, yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. There we go. And there should be, yeah, there's an item right there. If my d pad would work, cooperate with me, that'd be great. CMO5 Roar, so that's something, I guess. And uh, yeah, let me fight a Veilstone C next. So, because that's actually where we need to go next to progress in the game. So, um, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick, um, deposit Beck and get out Bronze. So I'll be right back, you guys. Stay tight. When I said stay tight, I meant sit tight. My bad. My bad. Oh look, it's a Team Galactic Grunt. Okay, um, let me arrange my party though. Bronze game right there. Jedi can go right here. Switch to Karen again. And there we go. Yeah. I think I can try to take the expansion off of, um, you know, of Draco and get to give him the Draco plate. Well, he doesn't, and the only Dragon type movie he knows is Dragon Mage, and that doesn't guarantee 40 HP. So for the time being, I'm gonna actually give him the Soft Sand or the Earth Plate, which will raise up the power of Ground type moves, which, is, which will help with this Earthquake. So if I can find one of those, I'll just pick the one that comes up first here. Yeah, Earth Plate. Yeah. Yeah, guy with the Earth Plate. Okay, um, I'm gonna check Karen's move set. I decided probably not to teach it, um, not to teach it, uh, mean, mean look when it, um, at like level 40 when it learns it or whatever. So, like, it's final move set. If I'm working on my, I'm looking at practice fire right now because I have my tablet. So, if I can find him, that'd be great. Okay. So, when he evolves into, when she evolves into, I, uh, um, Murkrow, or not Murkrow, Honchkrow, I want her to know Air Race, Dark Pulse, Fly, and I guess Faint Attack. Yeah, I'll keep Faint Attack then, because it's 60 power and never misses really, so it's cool. So yeah, Wing Attack will be replaced with uh, Dark Pulse, basically. But that is for another day, we're coming up to that. So, yeah. Let me just, uh, yeah, I got the item. Okay, I was just double checking that I got the item. Let's talk to this Galactic Grunt. Why not? There, would you look at the, that, those antennas? The antenna? Whatever, I, I, I'm pretty sure I heard that wrong. I don't know what to do. What the, I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antenna. He's all shocked. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my fairy away. Oh, I'm so sorry. My partner called the quits, and we went back to... I went back to his old country. I don't know anything about any storage key. And he just drops it, okay. Because this is a storage key right here. So yeah. That's all there is to it. Yeah, because like, for the thing, I, I only need, like for mean look, I only need it for one thing, which is to, um, 
which is to catch a roaming legendary that's coming up in the future. But um, I don't really want. I'll probably just use my master ball on that thing because I don't really plan on doing the after game really. Because I don't. I've never. I never really got into the dominant pro after game that much except for my original copy, and I didn't really like it. I mean, Heatran was cool and all, which is a legendary you'll get like Stock Mountain. Uh, but and Giratina, I guess, is cool too. I already covered those kind of things, and I think in my original walkthrough guide of Pokemon Diamond, I know I at least did Giratina in my uh, Pokemon Diamond original walkthrough guide, so if you want to see that, just go see that walkthrough. Oh man, I just paused it back so I can't use Rock Climb, because that items always stay you in the face when you first got to Veilstone, basically. I'll be right back and get back real quick, just for this one thing, of course, I know. Okay, I deposited Inferno. Uh, to get back out, so hopefully this item's decent. I don't remember it even being decent, honestly, so we'll have to see what it is. We might as well pick it up, you know? It is a full instance, which I forgot what that actually does. Let me look up the description. Full instance. It's an item held by Pokemon in, in, uh, in a toxic smelling instance that makes the whole thing bloated and slowly moving. Why would you want that really? I want you to try to like make your Pokemon slow on purpose so like for example my bronze is pretty slow already so if I give it like the iron ball as I said before in this walkthrough guide it'd make payback double power double because it already has such low speed anyway so it would work I guess for that but other than that I don't see any other purpose really. Okay let's go get iron inferno. Okay, now we can actually progress in the game after all those little side quests. Here's the uh, Galactic Warehouse. And let's open the door. Use the storage key, yep. Whoa, whoa, hold it there. Do you, have, do you have the key? I don't know if you do or not, but a storage key is safe. With our guard in front of the HQ. Huh, that was, that's not what I was, this is about. Um, yeah, um, I kind of confronted him and he dropped the storage key and you know, that's good for me, I guess. Here's a Dusk Tone, so I can finally evolve Karen into my, um, into Honchkrow. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that now because I made the decision not to wait till like level 40 where it learns, you know, mean look. So, ha, suckers. I gotta find it though. Yeah, it's at the very bottom of the bag. Cool. So, I'm gonna give it to Karen. And look, Karen is evolving. Yes, Karen is evolving. We got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure I can always, if I change my mind, I can always go to the move relearner in Pastoria City and try to learn, you know, try to relearn Mean Look if I really do need it. But I don't think I need it really, because it's only for one thing, little thing in the story, which is help you catch a roaming legendary. Okay, so, yeah. Let's look at our team now. Everyone seems to be fully evolved except for Rose and Drago. And once Rose reaches level 40 and learns Pearl Dance, I'll give the shiny stone to Rose, and Rose will be a level a Rose Raid. And I think Drago was like level 48, I think. Into a guy chomp, I think it was level 48. So, yeah. Let me switch up. Let me switch Karen and Bronze though. But yeah, you're a pretty good looking team right now. So yeah, I'm gonna end the part though here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond. We do walk the guide part. The next part will take on more of the Galactic Warehouse and hopefully make our way into the HQ and confront the rest of Team Galactic and stop them until they move on to the next phase if you know their plans. Whatever. So this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond. We do walk through guide.